what are secrets in kubernetes secrets are useful for storing information such as authentication tokens passwords certificate files and ssh keys these secrets are stored inside the hcd hcd is the data store of kubernetes if you remember the cluster architecture of kubernetes hcd is present here and all the secrets which we create inside kubernetes will get into the hcd and by default kubernetes does the base64 encryption so if you are using secrets in production you need to be aware that anybody can decrypt that particular information using the base64 decoding standards secrets can be defined in different ways inside kubernetes one common way is by loading these secrets into environment variables for example this is a configuration detail inside the yaml file for a pod or a deployment where there is a secret called simple secret under that there is a variable called username which we are mapping it into a variable called secret underscore username inside the environment variable so when you are using it inside your application you can load the username from the secret directly from this particular environment variable the other way of using secrets is by mounting using volume mounts so this is another common example which people use when they are using certificate files or any file which they want to encrypt and keep inside the secret and use it inside the container by leveraging the volume mounts so for example this is the volume mount and the volume mount is getting mounted onto the container now let's see these examples in action i have my minikube up and running let me check the status of minikube i'll also show you what are the different pods which i have there are no pods right now so i will do a watch on this terminal below so that we can see the pod getting created now i have different yaml files which i had created already but i'll show you what i have in each of them first i have a basic pod.yaml which has a basic yaml configuration for creating a pod and inside the container it's just sleeping right so nothing is happening within the application i'm just trying to run my container as a pod you can run it as a deployment if you want to have multiple replica sets i'm just going to show you a simple example so i'm using pods in this case so usually what we do we can do kubectl apply iphone f and then we can do a pod.yaml so when we do this you can notice that the pods are getting created here the moment pods are successfully running you can log into this particular pod so i'm just going to say kubectl exec interactive shell my pod name is secret hyphen example and i want to log in and then see what are my environment variables because before applying my secrets i want to make sure that it's not already present so i'll just do the environment and you can see that there are different paths host name and then there are something specific to kubernetes and then there is a home root that's it so we don't have any variable uh, or anything with respect to the secrets now i'm going to create a new secret you can directly use the terminal by doing kubectl create secret command and then you can pass the secrets or you can use yaml configuration like this so i have a file called simple secret inside that i have defined my kind as secret and the name of the secret is simple hyphen secret the type is opaque and then the data has username which is username password which is password so this is a secret which i want to store inside kubernetes secrets so i have two variables username and password which i'm going to store inside my kube secrets so to create secrets i can do the same kubectl apply f and then simple secret this will create a new secret i can see if it had got created by doing kubectl get secret and i can do kubectl describe secret to see if it is the same yeah i have two variables one is the username the other one is the password now i'm good so i have a secret created now i need my pod which i already created to use that particular secret as you know pods are ephemeral i cannot use the same pod and then update my configuration if you're using deployments you can do that because as a part of the deployment update pods get recreated in my case i directly created a pod so i'm going to delete this particular pod which i had created so that i can recreate a new pod with the secrets in it now i can create a new pod with my secrets in it 
so i have a yaml configuration called pod secrets i'll show you what i have done inside my pod yaml under the container section i have my container details and also i have some environment variables which i am referencing from my secret so this is how you can use the secret and load the secrets into these variables called secret underscore username and secret underscore password which are present inside the environment variables so when i log into this particular container these two variables will be present in inside my environment variable so that's what we are going to do here i'm going to create this particular pod for that i'm going to do kubectl apply pod hyphen secret so the pod is getting created we need to log into the pod so i'll just do kubectl exec it secret hyphen example and then we want to see the environment variables so the moment i do the environment variables option you can see there are two new variables so in the previous pod we did not see these two environment variables right now we have mounted our secrets onto these two variables so this is one way of accessing secrets let's take a look at the other way of uh, using secrets by mounting the secret onto the container because there could be a case where you have created a jks file and the jks file needs to be used inside the container so you cannot load it into an environment variable you can mount it inside the container and then you can use it so that's what we are going to do i'm going to create a new secret called jks hyphen secret so the command for that is kubectl create secret generic and then jks hyphen secret and i want to create this from a file i have a file called https example which is a certificate file and i want to create this secret and then mount this particular secret into my container so i'm just creating this secret using this particular command now i need to mount this onto my pod so i already have a pod i'll delete the existing pod now that the pod is deleted i'm going to apply new configuration for creating the pod but in this case i'm not going to use the environment variable like i used here i had a simple secret and i used my secret directly instead i'm going to use the volume mount to load that particular jks file into my container so if i show this yaml file i'm adding a section called volumes and as a part of the volumes i'm creating a new volume called secret volume and I'm loading my secret name, which is the JKS secret, which we created onto this particular volume. And that volume is getting mounted onto this particular path called etc slash secret hyphen volume. Now all the secrets which are present inside this particular secret will be mounted on this particular path. So in our case, HTTPS example dot JKS will be present inside this particular path. We're going to take a look at that once our pod is created. Let's apply this configuration. So the pod is getting created let's do kubectl exec it secret hyphen example and i want to see what is under the path etc slash secret hyphen volume that's what i think we gave in the yaml file right so this should have our https hyphen example dot jks and i can see that it just got created now so this is another way of using secrets inside the pod i'll summarize what we did in this video secrets are useful for storing sensitive information inside kubernetes and by default secrets are encrypted by kubernetes using base 64 but i would suggest if you're deploying applications into production you have to encrypt it with another layer of encryption so that your sensitive information is more secure inside the kubernetes cluster there are different ways of loading these secrets into the container one is using the environment variables the other is using the volume mounts we saw both these examples if you need the configuration files for both these examples i have uploaded these inside my github repo the links for that are present in the description below as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much